Outside Moscow, scores of flying machines are being unveiled as the Max International Air Show enters its second day. The pride of Russia's aviation training program, the Yak-130, is also on display at the weekend week-long event. RT's Maria Finoshina checked out the jet. The jet Russia's Air Force has chosen to train its pilots. The Yak-130 is no mere upgrade of previous models. It's a completely different beast. This is the only Russian aircraft to be made from scratch since the collapse of the Soviet Union almost 20 years ago. The Yak-130's design allows it to fly at a 45-degree angle of attack with a maximum speed of more than 1,000 kilometers per hour. Vasily Sevastyanov started his flying career over two decades ago. Since then, he's taken the controls of just about every Russian-made plane. He says this new jet is a breakthrough. As a student, Vasily said he could only dream of a trainer like this. First of all, the pilot can easily control the situation as all flight information is presented on three multifunctional displays in each cabin and at the head-up display in the front cockpit. Second, it's a very smart vehicle insured against almost every human error. Whatever you do, the jet will never allow you go too far and threaten your life or the plane's safety. The Yak-130 can take care of the majority of the entire pilot training program. That significantly reduces the time and cost of mastering flying skills. But trainees spend a lot of time in a simulator before they land near a real one. That allows the pilots to train without risking their life or jeopardizing the $15 million aircraft. The Yak-130 is the only trainer jet capable of simulating all the fourth and even fifth generation fighters as is the first Russian jet with all digital avionics. The pilot just selects a model he needs from the onboard system. It may look like a video game, but it's far from entertainment. The Yak-130 can easily be used as a combat jet with a maximum weaponry payload of three tons. The jet employs a wide range of Russian and Western-made armament to attack targets on the ground and low-speed targets in the air. The president of the Rukut Corporation, the Yak-130's producer, says the mixture of a trainer and combat jet in one makes the jet highly relevant. The global market for this jet is 2,500 planes. The Russian market is estimated at 250 to 300 jets for our pilot schools. We have already 150 requests. 62 planes are assigned to the Russian Defense Ministry, and we've already signed 16 contracts with Algeria. The Yak-130 is currently undergoing state test flights. As soon as they're over, in a few months, the brand new Russian jet will take to the skies on its virgin flight as the country's official Air Force combat trainer. Marie Fnoshina, RT, 